So let's start there. One of the major developments to this season has been the slow starts for three National League clubs, not just one, three National League clubs that made the playoffs last year, made major investments, and still, here in late June, have losing records. Right now, we've been calling it National League Malaise Watch, a strange fog. You know where it's from, but it's clearly there, hovering. So let's do a clear-eyed assessment of the Malaise clubs in the National League and do a little digging in. It's not just a slow start for a good team or two. These are prolonged bouts of underperformance for three teams that had very good seasons just last year. The Mets won 101 games. The Cardinals won 93 and the Central Division by seven games. The Padres only won 89, but they marched to the NLCS with wins over the Mets and the mighty Dodgers in the playoffs. They also made major investments and surged to the top of the payroll lists. The Mets are a runaway number one in payroll. And the Padres, committing almost $950 million in the past offseason, are number three. These are financial behemoths. I'm sorry. That has to come into play when you have a losing record in late June. Now, you see the Cardinals, right? They're 14th in payroll. A little farther down the line, there are 30 clubs. But they haven't had a losing record in 16 years and... Cardinals aren't just a bit sluggish. They were 16 games below 500 only about a week ago. So let's start by checking the big board and take a look at where everybody is and what they're facing. There are three wild cards now in each league. That's all you need to do to grab to get in. And then you're fine. The Padres are in the best shape. 37 and 41. They're four under. They are six and a half out of the final wild card. But again, on the far right, Four teams they have to pass to get that last wild card. The Mets are next. They're seven under 500, eight out of the wild card. They've got to pass five teams to get a playoff spot. Even that last wild card, the third wild card, they got to pass five clubs. Cardinals, the furthest out, look, they're 13 under 500. They're eight and a half out of the Central Division. That's what they really need to shoot for. They're 11 games out of the third wild card, 11. They've got to pass seven clubs, seven clubs to get that last wild card. So, in summation, take it all in. Mets and Cardinals have a long way to go. And the Padres actually passing four teams? You have to go on quite a run. So let's go team by team. I think, I think, I think the Padres should be fine. It's not an especially deep team, but Juan Soto is hitting, Fernando Tatis is hitting and fielding up a storm in right field. Manny Machado does not look healthy, he's struggling but he's been a very consistent player through the years. Ha Sung Kim is a monster, fielding, base running. He is number one in baseball and defensive run safe. This guy plays several positions. This is a good unit on the field. Pitching-wise, Blake Snell is on a dominant run. He's pitching like an ace. Michael Waka, Joe Musgrove, Seth Lugo, they're more than solid. Their bullpen has 13 blown saves, tied for the 10th most in baseball, but their Parker-adjusted ERA for the bullpen, third in Major League Baseball. This team should be fine. I'd be stunned if they don't turn it around. Okay, to the Cardinals. Their position players are excellent. They are star-studded and deep. They have eight hitters above league average. That's tied for the second most in baseball. They are eighth in baseball in weighted runs created. Plus, this team can hit, but they don't pitch and they don't defend. They are bottom six in park-adjusted ERA and defensive runs saved. That's a surprise, by the way. The Cardinals have been in the top four in defense in each of the past four seasons, including being number one in 2020. Now to the Mets. They have been flat out miserable on the mound. 27th in park adjusted team ERA, despite two future Hall of Famers in the rotation. But they're also only 12th in weighted runs created plus. That's a stunner. The Mets were third best hitting club in baseball last year. Number three hitting overall only a year ago. Now they're in the middle of the pack offensively. And here's more bad news. They are also 22nd in defensive run saved as a club. They were better than average last year, but they have slid back in the field as well. So let's go to the big board and just soak all this in. This is a good exercise. Here are the teams and here are their rankings in hitting, pitching and defense. Hitting, pitching and defense. OK, these are the clubs in a snapshot. It's not in depth, but it gives you an idea of the relative strength of each club. Start at the Padres. In hitting, weighted runs created plus, they're 13th. In ERA plus, they're 8th. That's pitching. Defense, defensive runs saved, they're 5th. Now, that's mostly from ha Sung Kim and Fernando Tatis, but they are 5th. So, overall, you're like, that's a pretty good club. They should be fine. Cardinals, 8th in hitting. They can hit, no doubt. They're also deep. 
But ERA plus 25th, whoa, there are 30 clubs. 28th defensively, that's a real problem. If you didn't know the names on these teams, you'd probably say, well, that team, I don't think they're making it. They can hit, but they're not making it. As for the Mets, this is what really struck me and has me concerned. 12th in hitting, 27th in pitching, 22nd in defense, in fielding. If you didn't know those were the Mets, like, hey, the Mets, that were so good, you would say, that club? That club's not winning. So it's a funny thing about doing this exercise. Without getting into the weeds, you do a cold-hearted assessment right here, you would say, they're okay, they might be okay, they might not, they're not okay. The worst of the bunch. Back in the real world, in the weeds, you could expect, of course, major turnarounds in team production. It takes a lot to think that Scherzer and Verlander will both be mediocre for the whole year and that Jeff McNeil and Starling Marte continue to where they've been. But you think about what we just showed you. Eight back, five teams to pass. The malaise watch is getting dire for both the Mets and the Cardinals.